It is a popular dish you can find when eating out, but we like the homemade version even better because Becky Lowe is behind it. Becky is here with a copycat broccoli beef stir fry. And I have to say our studio coordinator, Tiffany, just paid you the ultimate compliment, which I will absolutely second and agree with. That is our studio smells just like the Mandarin restaurant in oh. Bountiful. Have you eaten there? I have, Five I have. Five star gourmet Yay. Mandarin Chinese. And you're nailing it with oh. at least the aroma Yay. today okay. in the studio. So. Well, you're gonna have to taste it because it is, it is wonderful and it's easy. Why would we choose to make it homemade as opposed to just dialing up takeout? Oh, you're at home, you're doing it with your family, you're doing it with friends. Um, you can control those flavors and textures and it just pulls this whole aroma into your house. I am hungry. Can yeah. we get going? Okay. This, 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 this is going right. to be on my Let's menu this week, I can tell you that. Start down through, we'll okay. start with the meat. Yeah. Okay, so meat, you want to cut it really thin and I'm using a flank steak and this is just a half mm -hmm. of a flank steak so it's out this size. Okay, and it does become just a little bit, um, you want to thinly slice it and you want to do it across the grain. So this is the grain of the meat and with that flank you can very easily see the grain of the and meat. And why do we do that? Cut against the grain? Okay, as you cut it then you're shortening that grain so when it cooks then it's going to be more tender. Okay. Okay, so whatever the meat you're using, whether it's a flank steak or a sirloin or chuck steak or whatever, mm -hmm. look at the grain of the meat and with some of them it's a little bit harder and then cut just across the end and thinly slice That's it. That's a food marker of this dish though, thinly sliced and really tender, really tender Correct. meat. Okay, and whenever you're doing stir fry, you want to do all of your ingredients, get them ready, and then it's just a matter of stirring it up. Stirring and frying. It really <laughs> fast. Yeah. Okay, so here we have some that's already cut, and we want to marinate it or put a little bit with it. And so first off, I am using a rice wine okay. that I'll just put in here, and a little bit of, I'm going to give that a stir, a little bit of cornstarch. And the cornstarch binds yeah. it. Yeah, okay, now just a comment with the rice wine, you know, sometimes people, I don't cook with liquor. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, and some people will say, oh, you know, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with that. Well, when you go to the store and you actually compare, you can get the rice wine in the ethnic section of the store. It's not something you have to go to the liquor store for. Okay. And it actually has less alcohol in it than vanilla. Oh. And we use vanilla all the time. I so, don't even think about it. Yeah. So consider it as a flavoring ingredient. Yeah. Okay, we want to marinate that for about, mm, you know, until you get the rest of the things together. <laughs> <laughs> Give or take a few minutes. <laughs> right. Okay, then heating the oil. Now, I purposely did not heat that up so we were splattering today on your blue. Thanks, Becky. Thanks, <laughs> you know, Becky. So we're going to pretend like this part of it. But uh, the next thing is I have some garlic and some ginger. Mm -hmm. And I love, love, love the fresh ginger. You just can't compare the, the flavor with it. So you're buying the pieces of ginger in the store. I like to slice it off right here. In fact, I'll just give you that piece to smell. Here it is all chopped oh, up. Yes. Yes, it's just different. Now mm -hmm. you can use crystallized ginger. I've tried it. You just don't have the flavor. You could also use uh, powdered ginger, but mm -hmm. it's concentrated. So you use less of it, but you just don't have that same flavor. What I'm hearing it. you say is go fresh. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially yes. since it's so cheap. Right. Okay. So what we'll do, I'm going to just borrow that. We'll put um, a couple of teaspoons. Now, pretend pretending. you're hearing it sizzle. <laughs> really, and I can show an apron very on. Do we want to sizzle? Okay, but you want it hot and sizzly and poppy. Absolutely. So okay. you're doing this on absolutely high heat. Uh -huh. Now, I'll mention I'm using a, a skillet with this one, and many people like to use the wok, and I like the wok. Uh -huh. And so I, I brought a couple just to show a comparison with it. Yeah. Okay, this is the round bottom wok. Okay, and you need to have some kind of a base with it, mm -hmm. but when you're using this base, it concentrates that heat down onto a glass cooktop or electric cooktop and it can burn out your unit. Oh. Okay, so that's with it, but I do like it for the gas stoves. Okay. Okay, the other one is a flat bottom. This is what we have right here is this flat bottom. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of walks out here, and this increases the distance or the, the surface that you can actually uh, saute and uh, get the meat on. But I don't like the uh, nonstick, and this is the reason why. You know, it becomes scratched, mm -hmm. you're, you're building it up, it's sticking, and, and you're putting that into your food. Yeah. Okay, so there's my, my comments with it. So I did bring just some stainless steel skillets. Here's my beef that it's already ready to go. I have added uh, my garlic and my ginger. Garlic, and ginger, the, yeah, little and oil, and or no? seared it. Yeah, we little use oil. a couple of tablespoons of oil, two okay. to three tablespoons okay. of oil. Okay, the next thing is that we want our broccoli added to this. Okay, so let me just sh move that I over. I can't tell you how good this smells. I mean, if ah. you were here, you too would be craving dinner at about, you know, 11.45. 
Okay, so this is one of those prep things that is really fast that you can do as okay. well. Okay, for this one, I want some to pre-steam it, so just a little bit. So what I have is just a bowl of broccoli. Uh -huh. I'm gonna add a little bit of water in the bottom of it, you know, okay. two to three tablespoons. And then I like to put a wet paper towel on the top of it, Okay. put a plastic wrap on, two to three minutes. In the micro? Yeah, and then you have this bright green Done. broccoli that's ready to go, which, we will throw into so our So much more convenient than water, yeah. stove, boil, bubble, all of it. Yeah, now I'll also mention one of the reasons that I like a wok is that you have that distance. Sure. So you're able to stir and put more into it. You've gotta use a big pan, big skillet if you're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna serve about, um, the full recipe serves about four to six. And so this size, you're only talking just um, two to four people, so okay. you want a bigger one. Take that into consideration. Last thing, let's just move that off to the side. Are we saucing? And the sauce, you've okay. got to have a finishing sauce with it. And so here's what we've done with the finishing sauce. Okay, so uh, water, a couple of tablespoons of water. Check. Okay, a little rice wine in it again. Okay, okay. okay. We're also adding some soy sauce. Uh-huh. Okay, we're adding just a touch of brown sugar. Uh-huh. Okay, and that brown sugar set out for just a second. Okay, we'll also add some um, cornstarch to this. The ingredients list is really similar. Oh, we saw it the is, overlap it is. and the cornstarch and the rice wine vinegar. Okay, now this is a little bit different. This uh -huh. is the oyster sauce. If you're used to uh, Chinese cooking, you're very familiar with it. If you're not, you could use uh, some soy sauce, just extra soy sauce with it. But that's it. thicker. But yes, it is. And so a hoisin sauce would also work with it and it'd be a little bit thicker. Okay. And the flavor, you know, changes. So we just simply stir that in. Okay. Then you can see that it's a little bit on the cloudy side. So once this is all hot, ready to go. We'll heat it up. We um, heat it up. We pour it over our beef and broccoli. Okay. And um, cook this until it starts to thicken up. I'll let you Ooh, stir that. Yum. Ah, yeah, Served yeah, over yeah, rice. Yeah. Served over some rice. And then you want to complement your meal with the, you know, all the food groups. And so, of course, you need to have a glass of milk. Of course. <laughs> and then add some fruit to it, and then you have a complete meal. There it is. Oh, what the are the very toppings? Last thing. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you want to add some sesame seeds to it. And you okay. can buy sesame seeds in bulk. Sprinkle that on, gives a little crunch, and just adds the flavor to it. Looks amazing, little Becky. A dash of sesame oil with it as well. A little bit, goes a long way. This is on our menu this weekend uh, at my house. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. If you too want to cook this up for dinner or beyond, go to our website, studio5.ksl.com. Just click on the recipe tab, or you can search Becky Lowe's name using the search engine in the upper right-hand corner of the screen.